How's it going everyone? Marcus here with MTG Epic and I'm here to open a couple packs of Fate Reforged on release day for your viewing enjoyment. Um, I'm not sure how many I'm going to open out of this box. I did already slice it once as you can see. I didn't tamper with it at all. I just... Alright, let's uh, at least 10 packs or so. We're going to end up putting the cards on our inventory on mtgepic.com. So if you see any that you like that are opened, make sure that you go ahead and go to the website and purchase that. Also, remember everything that you purchase on mtgepic.com is actually not just buying your cards that you need, but you're supporting giveaways and you're supporting the content that we bring to you on a weekly basis. Right now I'm hitting like two or three videos a week, at least two, because we've got Fat Pack Friday and Single Pack Sunday. But lately I've been doing <clears throat> another video each week too so we're, we're hitting like an average of three videos a week so make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top right and when you want to find uh, some stuff at the website bottom left I will have a link for you there as well let's go ahead and I'm gonna put some aside that I know I'm gonna need for Fat Pack Fridays and stuff coming up uh, that sounds like a good amount to save and let's open, let's scramble these up a little bit. I'm gonna move the box out of the view so we can focus really good on the cards that we do get. We got some natural light this morning from the window. And bear with me, I'm super exhausted. Last night was the first night home with the baby. And he kept me up pretty friggin' late. Passion War Beast, Abzan Beastmaster, Bloodfire Enforcers. Oh my god! Why does that look like there's a crappy border? First pack is a Ugin, but it looks funky. As you can see on the top edge, it looks a little funky. So luckily for us, well that, that is an epic pull first of all. I got sidetracked by the edges. But luckily for us, we can send that back into uh, Wizards of the Coast and they will send us a new one. Um, because we open it with um, flaws and I will bring it in a little closer for you to see there Wow what a great first pack um, I'm not going to put this on the website because like I said I'm gonna send that in and get it replaced that is crazy first pull though welcome to MTG epic right I did not see that coming Uh, Grave Strength and Mist, uh, Mind Scour Dragon, Friendly Fire, and Shu Yun the Silent Tempest. These cards look okay. These cards look great. I'm gonna look at that first pack again. That one looks a little sketchy. That one on the top left looks a little sketchy. That's really weird. I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna have to pay for postage to get that sent in, but usually they will um, they will send you like a, a sealed pack to cover the shipping, you know what I mean? And if you want more information on sending flawed cards in that you open, you have to open them, guys. You can't just you know do a trade, get a card, and it's messed up, and then send it in. You gotta open it. So, if you want to know how to do that, I do have a video on it on the uh, return program. So, check that out. Fruit of the First Tree. Ugin's Construct. I feel like there's a foil in here. Battle Brawler. Rally the Ancestors. And Harsh Sustenance is the foil. Got our first foil. Got our rare here. Put these ones off to the side. Open a couple more. I'll open these ones up a little faster so we can keep the video short. Honor's Reward, Hungry and Yeti, Goblin Boom Keg, and Outpost Siege. I would like to crack a fetch land. 
I did hear that some boxes left the Wizards factories with a fetch land in every pack. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that because that's a thing. Pyrotechnics, Lotus Eye Mystics, Rite of Undoing, and Citadel Siege. Do. Well, we kind of opened the best card in the set on the first pack, so now everything's just kind of downhill, which is really, really crazy. Whisk away. Sibsig host. Oh, wait, these are commons. I don't need to do that. Destructor dragon, Jeskai barricade, rage form, and arc bond is the rare. And palace siege is a rare mythic. That is really cool how they did the Tarkir hologram on there. I like that. I almost wanted to go and just tell just until we get a fetch land. We already got the foil rare from the box. We've got Ugin. I mean we've got value here. Ashen War Beast, Dragon Rage, Bloodfire Enforcers, and a Monastery Mentor. We're going to stop there because that's huge value in just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs or so. So we're just going to stop there. Um, the video's, you know, short enough. I'm happy with it. We'll go over these real quick. <clears throat> Monastery Mentor 2 and a white with prowess. Whenever you cast an on creature spell, put a 1 1 white monk creature token with prowess onto the battlefield. Arc Bond uh, 2 and a red. Choose target creature. Whenever that creature is dealt damage this turn, it deals that much damage to each other creature and each player. Citadel Siege 2 and 2 white. A Citadel Siege enters the battlefield. Choose cons or dragons. And then if you choose cons at the beginning of combat on your turn, put two 1 1 counters on target creature you control. If you pick dragons at the beginning of combat each turn, opponent's turn, oh, let me start that over. At the beginning of combat on each opponent's turn, tap target creature that player controls. Outpost Siege, three and a red. An outpost Siege enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Cons is at the beginning of your upkeep, XL the top card of your library until end of turn, you may play that card. Dragons, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, outpost Siege deals one damage to target creature or player. Uh, X into white, we've gone over this card in a earlier video. Uh, Shu Yun, the Silent Tempest, is two and a blue. Prowess, whenever you cast a non creature spell, you may pay a red or white twice. If you do, target creature gains double strike until end of turn, and he's a 3 2. We've got Ugin with flaws, which is disappointing, but we still got him. Uh, we got Palace Siege, three and two black, is our foil rare. Um, and you can also choose cons or dragons with this card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you choose cons, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. If you choose dragons, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Let's go over Ugin real quick before we sign off. Uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon is eight and he has seven life counters. Ugin the Spirit Dragon, is, or sorry, plus two Ugin the Spirit Dragon deals three damage to target creature or player. Minus X, each, or XL, each permanent with converted mana cost X or less, one or more colors. Uh, minus 10 is ultimate as you gain 7 life, draw 7 cards, then put up uh, to 7 permanent cards from your hand to the battlefield. Very cool. Very nice card. I'm going to send it in. Um, oh, looks like there's another card in our rares that are like, what the heck? What in the hell? Rally the Ancestors is damaged. This video went from an opening to, oh my gosh, Monastery Mentors damaged. Alright, be on the lookout when you open cards from Fate Reforged, guys, because if this happens to you, you can send them in. Uh, make sure you have your original receipt. And um, I'm going to sign off. We're under 10 minutes. We're going to stay that way. MTGEpic.com is out.